Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 15th of December and this time I have a little bit of combination video for you from Nintendo as they have detailed sales data for a number of their biggest releases for 2014, that being Pokemon, Smash Brothers and of course Amiibo. Amiibo has of course been in the news a little bit lately due to rare or broken or technically incorrect Amiibo selling for crazy amounts, but I'm not here just to talk about Amiibo. I'm here to talk about just general Nintendo sales. And unsurprisingly, as they did launch two pretty big games for on November the 21st, they have reported some pretty nice sales figures, and both of these games, that being Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, as well as Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, have already performed well enough to feature on their list of star performers for the entire year. Now, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire combined sold about 1.5 million copies during the first 10 days of availability in the US. Now, according to Nintendo, there is taking into account physical and digital sales. And they also said that total 3DS software sales in November jumped about 40% compared to the same time last year. Now, aside from Oras, that being Pokemon, of course, Smash Brothers for the 3DS was also, of course, a major contributor. And it is currently leading the way as the best-selling individual portable game in the US this year, with over 1.5 million sales. Now, they also reported, as I kind of alluded to in a video a few days ago, improved results for the home console business last month. Both Wii U hardware and software sales rose above Nintendo, sorry, November of 2013's totals by more than 10% and over 90% respectively. And they also said that Black Friday week was the biggest on record for the console since it launched back in 2012. Now, Smash Brothers for the Wii U has sold a pretty nice amount in the US to date, that being 710,000, which apparently is approximately equal to the Amiibo unit sales, and unshockingly, the most popular Amiibos at the moment are Link, Mario and Pikachu. Supplies, of course, or a new number of Amiibo figures have already been exhausted, and they have said that they're working hard to basically relieve these shortages however they have said that it's going to be tough to basically assure that you're going to get one at a later date. Now we also had a comment here from Scott Moffitt who is Nintendo of America's Executive Vice President of Sales and Marketing and he said quote we're extremely confident in our holiday proposition and look forward to closing this year strong and starting 2015 with a full head of steam. Unsurprisingly as well, Pokemon Oras fared even better in Japan where they topped 1.5 million in just three days and combined these two games have actually enjoyed the biggest launch of any Pokemon releases in the UK history which actually has beaten the previous record which was held by Pokemon Black and White which of course came out in 2011. So it seems that Nintendo are definitely doing pretty damn well for themselves, which is good to say, to be honest. I mean, the Wii U's kind of been struggling for a while. Of course, then Mario Kart 8 came along, and then of course Smash Brothers, and then of course we've got Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for the 3DS. Now, the 3DS has always been strong because it's a very good handheld. It was kind of the Wii, sorry, the Wii U that was kind of letting them down, and it seems like that is finally starting to improve as they're finally getting the system sellers onto the machine. Of course, we've got Legend of Zelda coming out as well which is going to be amazing most likely and of course we are most likely going to be seeing another strong release of titles for the 3DS next year as well. What they'll be I couldn't tell you but Nintendo definitely seem to be hitting their stride finally and hopefully we'll see 2015 giving them even more success. Anyway that is me done for this video and I'll see you next time.